Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video which is Poundland haul. Woo! So I did, this is actually two lots of Poundland buys as well because I went in uh, the first time, got what I needed and then a few days after I needed some more stuff so before I got to film this I have been in a second time so there's kind of two lots of Poundland um, shopping here. Uh, as always, nothing's in order. I'm literally just gonna get it and show you. So you might get food and then you might get spray paint, you know? So if you want to see what I got from Poundland, then keep on watching. Okay, so first, I got this fabric freshener in crisp cotton. Now I got this because my washing machine it's not like it's broken, but it's definitely playing up. Like the fabric conditioner drawer doesn't wash the fabric conditioner into the washing. Okay, let's start again. The fabric conditioner does not go into the washing. <laughs> so I thought if I get this before I peg everything out to dry, I could just give it like a whirl of this and hopefully this could do the job instead of fabric conditioner. Let me see what it smells like. Okay, so it apparently smells of nothing, but I'm sure it smells good when you put on clothes. So it says it eliminates odours for clothes, carpets and upholstery. So I'm actually excited to try that and finally get some smell back in my clothes. Just got 20 bin liners. Now, I always tend to get the kind of stronger bin liners anyway, but more so because I am moving house. I'm probably, I know you're probably all thinking, for God's sake, we know you're moving. But I feel like if someone's just like clicked on and they don't know, then you do now. I'm moving house very shortly. Um, if you wanted to keep updates on that actually, follow my vlog channel, which is linked below. Um, so I'm almost like bagging up loads of stuff up. I can see everything, everything's not getting bagged up. But I am bagging and getting rid of so much stuff right now. Um, so I need bin bags, whether it's to put rubbish in my bin in my kitchen or to actually bin rubbish around the house, bag clothes up for the charity shops um, and things like that. So this was 20 bags at 50 litres for a pound. Listerine because it just goes missing in my house. I'm sure people use a full bottle to rinse the mouth out with after they've cleaned the teeth. Obviously the dark clothes that we're in. But it does go super quick. Um, and although like I don't mind using other ones, I just think Listerine does all sorts. You know, if you might have an ulcer or you've got a bit of toothache or I don't know, it seems to kind of heal all that up as well. So Listerine's a good all round one. Um, I do sometimes get the big ones, which are about 250 to 350. So for these for pound, I always try to stock up on them. Just got a little iced latte to help me through the day. Then I've got these little wax melts. And let me tell you, the Poundland has, it's actually one below, I should say that. So one below, which is almost say, exactly the same. But they have these cute little um, like candles, like a proper candle corner going on. And the amount of wax melts they've got there is just amazing and they all look. So I don't even know, I only chose one, honestly. I'm just double checking, because I, I don't know how I did actually only choose one. They all looked so nice. But this one is eucalyptus leaf and it just, it smells eucalyptus -y. <laughs> but it's like clean, do you know what I mean? Like, and like you'd go to maybe a salon or, I don't know, but do you know what, like the vibe I'm getting, just nice, clean, like almost relaxing. It says it's it's got notes of lemongrass and thyme in honestly that's like a spa it just reminds me of a whole spa massage that kind of vibe and i'll probably go back and get some more of them because they smell really good then a little random purchase what is it a bendy reading lamp man but i thought this was a good idea you can do other things here like what's that so that's like reading a letter and then you've got like a phone, it bends it so you can put your phone on. But I thought it's super cool to like turn your pages. So you like, if you go to bed after a hard day, you just wanna to go to bed and have a read. I have some books next to my bed. 
but you don't want the big light on um, and I do have a lamp but it's very not bright so it's not bright enough for me to read so I always have to put my phone on and um, my torch on my phone so hopefully this might do it because you insert it on the page like so and its eyes light up the page for you I feel like this is revolutionary and why is it only just come out so it says it's bright LED eyes and flexible body used to read in the dark it holds your phone as well and it holds cords so like if it's charging it holds all them um so many bendy uses <laughs> so i'm real pleased with that um i will keep you updated on how that goes on the vlog channel i'll probably show you like me reading with it or something or trying to use it anyway some sweets because i just love sweets there's nothing really more to say me and the kids are sweet addicts and these are just some giant big crocodiles for a pound i thought that were quite good hard as nails once again with me moving out i'm having to do like little repairs there's nothing major at all um, but my house is rented so obviously everything needs to kind of go back to how it was um so there's like a few tiny little jobs that need doing but this will come in very handy when i'm applying all my tiny repairs just got some bubbles these are lydia's favorite um for school really and you get 52 boxes of grass seed because once again my grass is a bit bald at the minute shall we say because mainly because i've got a dog and that's all there is to it so i'm trying to like build that back up before i leave um and grass seed is very expensive i think i said that previously uh so this one's just grass seed it says you shake it out you rake it over and you water it simple as that um, and then this one's Ultra Patch, a rapid repair mixture. And I purposely got this one because I have spread loads of grass seed um, in the last few months and I feel like it is kind of growing back. But there's some like tough, sturdy patches which are like, we're not growing. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't know if the soil, the mud's like too hard now and gone weird, but they just don't want to grow. So I'm going to use the Ultra Patch on like the really tough stubborn parts um some chocolates for me because i absolutely love these chocolates so i'm not going to tell anyone that i've got them because they are just for me i've got a pack of pickled onion monster munch because everywhere is putting the pies price of crisps up which i know sounds ridiculous but they actually are you still get six packs of these for a pound i did have six packs of oh, five packs sorry five packs of chili doritos apparently the kids have found them before i managed to film this video that would have been five packs of doritos i just got one of these little chargers for the car for my phone um, I tend to just buy the kind of pound ones anyway uh, But I always like to have one spare in my car because you just never know when your phone might run out of battery Or if you need if your phone's out of battery and there's an emergency, etc I got myself one of these deodorants now if you'll watch my I think my home bargains videos You'll know that I normally get the is it? Mitchcom michicum deodorant or something like that but it's basically a similar thing like where it's not wet it's more of like i don't even know what it's called um and i don't know if this one will be any good either but the one that i get is about two or three pounds so i'm hoping that this one might be all right um and if it is if it's like the other one the other one is perfect it stops you from sweating stops you from smelling it's just a good all-rounder and i don't mind paying two or three pounds because i know it is a top quality deodorant but if this one does the same then even better because it's a pound i've got lydia two fidgets she's already took the other one it's basically exactly the same as this but yellow it's that one actually in the picture but she was so pleased when i showed her this i said i've got you a surprise she's like what is it no <laughs> like no i think you'll like this one and anyway, I showed her and she went, oh, oh my gosh, yeah, thanks, mum, thanks. So she's super pleased with that. For me, I have no idea what they're about, what they're for, or what's the point in them. Um, but she loves them and that's all that matters. So these were a pound as well, which is apparently is very good for fidget. Well, I know actually they're very, 
that's a very good price for fidgets, believe you me, when Christmas came and she told me, I like, what? So I got two of them. Um, I got my mum a pizza cutter. This is actually to take to my mum's caravan because every time we go, we kind of always have a pizza night and we've been going quite a lot lately. Um, and she didn't have a pizza cutter, so we've had to use like a big knife, which is fine, I guess. But why not get a, a little pizza cutter um, to take as well? I loved this. Look at this. So it's an inflatable confetti beach ball. And do you know, I thought this is so good for pound. That does not look like it costs a pound. It'll cost way more than a pound to make it. Um, but I thought this can be for all sorts, you know, like parties, baby showers, I don't know, birthdays, just kind of anything. You could even have them dangling from the ceiling if you wanted to make decorations with it. Um, and then obviously, because it's inflatable, you put it back down for next party. But I'm really, really chuffed with that, actually. I bought it thinking about something for kids to do in hot tub, I'll be honest. Hot tub confetti ball. Then I've got three lipsticks. Now, I'm not, as I've got older, I'm not particularly a makeup person, but I am always on the hunt for just a lipstick, really. Um, you know, like a nude, beige, brown lipstick vibe. And this is a pack of three. It's the Collection 2000. It's a pack of three. And let me show you the colours. I'll just quickly take it out for you. So that's the first one. Oh, second. This one might be a bit dark. Um, I'm not sure actually, we'll have to see. But these two definitely look perfect. They are literally the colours I'm searching for. So basically you got all them three for a pound and it's just a good choice of three different browns and beiges. Loving them. Then also for the new house, I've got these little bamboo sets. I'm loving bamboo at the minute, but it does say like, don't put it microwave, don't put it in dishwasher, don't do this, don't do that. <laughs> so you are literally just allowed to have a sandwich off it, probably that's about it, but I think they're cute anyway. So I've got one of these plates each, like blue, like little zigzags, and then kind of like paint splatter effect. Um, so I've got one each of them. Then I've got matching cu uh, cups, balls as well. And then I've got matching cups as well. But I thought these are so cute for like little, do you know, like going outside if kids want a little snack or to eat the lunch outside. That is so cute. And I couldn't decide which pattern I liked more, hence why I got one of each. These are the only two they had. But I love this. I'm so excited for like summer in the new house with the bamboo food sets. They were a pound each as well, so like a pound for the cup, a pound for the bowl, etc. But it's still a cute little set. Also for the garden, I got this, is it called citronella? Oh, I didn't even say anything at all. Oh, oh my God. Oh, that is not a nice smelling candle. I'm guessing it's because it kills flies. Do you know like when you're out sat around your table and it's getting late and there's mosquitoes, I don't know if there is or not, but you know what I mean, like midges, flies and stuff. You have this burning to deter them. Well, believe you me, that would deter me. So a tiny little fly would definitely not fly near that, let me tell you. That is disgusting. I hope it smells better when it's burning. Anyway, but I just thought it was super cute in this um, like little mason kind of jar with the cute little lid as well. So once that's burned, I'll give it a good clean out and then I'll reuse it for something else. Or maybe put another candle in that does not smell like that. I got two of these um, like glade, they're not glade, but you know what I mean, like an automatic spray. So as you can see, I've got, oh my God, there we are. Ah, can't point to it. Um, like the glade air wick thing. Um, now the refills are about, are they about three pound or two for five, something like that. Now that's ridiculous in my eyes. So I've got one of these cherry blossom and wild berries um, for pound each because I know for a fact they're fitting them because that's what I always refill them in. Unless I can get some on mega cheap offer like Airwicks or Glades, I will always get these from the pound shop. So that's wild berries and cherry blossom. 
England flag because come on England. Okay, here's the story. I'm not a football fan. I'm not a football supporter. I don't watch football. I kind of say I support Man United because my dad does know I was brought up around it. But if I could go without watching football, that's absolutely fine. I'd go without it. However, I've been getting into these England matches. Let me just tell you that me and Lydia have been sat glued going, ah, come on. And then like as soon as they get bored, going, ooh, ooh, ooh. Honestly, Chris said it's hilarious listening to me and Lydia watching football match. Um, so I've even been out and bought a flag to hang from my bedroom window because the next match is about four days away, I think. So I'm going to put that up and support our country. Then I just got this face mask, which I thought was actually mega, super duper, rupa cheap. saint as well. So it's a self-tan face mask. It's Oh, so you leave it on for five minutes for light tan, 10 minutes for medium tan, and 15 minutes for dark tan. But I'm excited to try that. So like, you cleanse and then you're like, it's on a sheet, so then you lay it on, and then you leave it, and then massage it in and wash your hands. I might do that um, on my family channel as well, because some other people might be interested in knowing how that works. But I've never seen them before. And it's saint and it's for a pound, so definitely needed to try that. Got, oh my God, guys, I'm so sorry this video is so long. <laughs> Didn't realise how much I'd bought. Um, I got this dashboard grip mat, so basically in the car. Oh my God, it's a pair of sunglasses. I look like two little puppies. Do you see like two little sausage dogs there? Or do you just see sunglasses? What's on picture? Anyway. Um, it's literally just to have on your dashboard because I am wanting to do some like little film with me's and I'm like videoing a vlog or whatever. Um, I've nowhere to stand my, ca my camera really. So I thought if I get something like this, it might hold it. It might not as well, but we can see it for pound. Three cans of white gloss spray paint. This is actually for cars, I think. Oh, no, it's not. It's wood, brick and metal. So you could use it on your car, I guess. But um, this, I bought this. So this, I think I've said before, there's a lot of things that we're going to DIY to take with us to the new house because it might be rose gold or something now. And we want it white for the new house. So basically, Lydia's chair, a desk chair in a bedroom now is pink. But we've spray painted it. But we have one now. That's why I've actually bought some more. Um, but... It's looking all right. I need to sand a bit, some bits down where it's draped and then um, go over them again. But it's looking all right, actually. And she even went, Mum, let's just paint it and save some money. So I'm like, all right, girl, I'll see ya. Um, two packs of chocolate squares because both kids absolutely love these breakfast bars more than any breakfast in the world. Cotton pads, I'm quite good actually because I did just go to Primark and they are really cheap in Primark and I forgot to get some. So I just had to get some from the pound shop anyway. But it, I'd got the oval, oh, what is going on? The oval cotton pads and you get 60 in it. Oh, he's waiting, he knows, he knows it says. <laughs> Wait a minute. I've got blue with this toy. How does he know it says? He's so clever. How does he even know? This is for him. Let me try and... Oh, wait. So basically, I got blue. I think um, he approves of that. Do you like your new tie? So I got him this. <laughs> um. What I was going to say before I rudely took it off me was toys don't, dog toys don't last very long with blue so I do literally have to buy them one each week. Even if I go and get like a dear one from Pets at Home or Amazon, whatever, it doesn't last long and just don't. Right, I've got this. It is a giant ice cube tray but I actually thought you could do other things in here like jelly. I don't know what else you could do in here. But do you know what I mean? Like you could, there's probably like lots of things you can actually do in here. Like little buns, cakes, jellies. Or just use it as a giant ice cube tray, which I probably will do. But what I love about these ones as well is that it's like a silicone base. So you can like pop it 
up to push the ice cube out. It makes it so much easier. Pack of tissues because it is hair fever season. A tea tree conditioner and a tea tree shampoo just because nine times out of ten I like to use these on the kids purely just because head lice goes around schools and to make sure my kids do not get them we always kind of use tea tree the shampoo and conditioner but they didn't have normally I would get this conditioner but they didn't have this one so I had to get this one but I imagine it will all be the same um literally going crazy and then he wonders why they don't last him oh look at yourself just look at yourself okay i've got this foaming shower gel in pineapple um i'm about to say this for a pound um but i think i'm gonna say that because these are normally quite expensive the original sauce um brand as well but yeah, I always like to buy a foaming shower gel just because I think when you're shaving, like if you're shaving your legs, it's almost like shaving foam. I bet you, can't, you guys can't even hear me now. Um, so I definitely picked one of them up when I saw it. And then lastly, this is actually the last item. It is a giant bottle of disinfectant liquid, but it's in the smell. I always say smell, scent. In the scent, um, pine. I love pine, I know it's like a love or hate kind of thing, but I do love pine because again, it just smells clean to me. It reminds me of like, you know, at school, in toilet block or whatever, and you know cleaners have just been in and it's just clean and fresh. Um, and it's a massive bottle as well. So I'm gonna put that in my mop bucket later when I mop my lounge because I have to mop this floor nearly every day, probably every day actually, because I have a very messy, mucky, hyperactive dog. Right, guys, I am so sorry this video is as long as it is. If you made it to this point, thank you so much. I really do appreciate it. And also, if you haven't subscribed, then please do, because honestly, it costs you nothing, but it means so much to me. Right, thanks again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.